OMC was responsible for a few lines of sleds being manufactured under its broad name. While the Snow Cruiser line was known for being a little tame, the Rapido was anything but mellow. We're looking at a 1971 Snow Cruiser Rapido 500. It's uh, one of the, the only factory race sled that OMC built in Peterborough, built by uh, one of the off shops off the off site where the uh, engineers actually just kind of threw together a part sled and then developed it from there. Um, it uh, they only built 93 actually for production. Some of them went out to dealers all over Canada, uh, down east where I'm from. They had, they had about five or six, and then the rest usually run around Ontario. It is a full restoration, uh, restored from the ground up. I started with a really solid chassis that I'd gotten from Doug McElwain and Peter Burrell. Um, got word of it through, uh, through Doug when I called Doug about parts for something totally, totally different and uh, called him up. We, we started talking about Rapidos and uh, he had one that he wanted to get rid of. I, I drove up uh, 18 hours to his house to, uh, to look at it, to, to purchase it. And then that was six years ago, and then three years ago I uh, started restoring it. It took three years to finish, and uh, to the end result we have today. Um, for me, uh, it's one of them sentimental things. My father was a big OMC fanatic when I was a kid, and just really fell in love with them. The Evan Rudens and Johnsons the same way. Uh, anything developed by that company, I even have some of the some of the stuff that's not snowmobiles. This, this right here is a uh, cornflakes box, which uh, a fellow member found in his daughter's uh, attic about two years ago. She just bought the house and the only thing in the house was a box of cornflakes. And on the box of cornflakes was a, a, a draw for two 70 snow cruisers. And uh, when you're a snow cruiser guy like me, you just found gold. And uh, he, uh, he pretty much just lent it to my museum. Uh, it's kind of on loan right now, but uh, we're going to get it out of him once, well, sooner or later.